Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to transfer your VHS tapes to your computer. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably have a box of these old tapes sitting around your basement or attic. But what I found out recently is if they sit for too long, they'll actually stop working. And these are a lot of old memories from home videos my parents recorded, and I really want to make sure I back those up somewhere. Now, it's been about a week since I started backing all these tapes up, and I'm actually really surprised of how easy it was. So I want to show you how I do it. So to get started, you'll need five things. The first thing you'll need is a VCR player. Chances are you probably already have this laying around somewhere, um, but just make sure it's working. If it's full of dust and it's looking really old, um, clean it off, turn it on, just make sure it works. You don't want to damage your tapes more from a bad VCR player. The second thing you'll need is an RCA cable. It has a yellow, red, and white connector at the end of it. An RCA cable is something your VCR probably came with. It's just the cable you normally use to plug in the VCR to the TV. If you don't have this cable, you could buy it by itself on Amazon. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. The third thing you'll need is something called a USB video grabber. And all this does is it converts the RCA connection to a USB connection. Um, the one I bought is on Amazon. It's about 30 bucks. It works really well. I've been using it for a week straight now. I've had no issues at all. Um, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. The fourth thing you'll need is just a computer with a free USB port. And the fifth thing is the software on the computer to actually run all of this. So to get started, um, just go ahead and install the software on your computer. Um, if you bought the USB video grabber that I talked about, it has a CD in it. Um, I didn't use a CD. There's actually a link on the physical CD to download it from the website. It's a lot easier that way. So just copy that in. And then once you open up the software, it'll ask you for an activation key. Um, you'll find this key on the back of this physical CD. There's a little sticker you put in. Once you have the software installed, the next thing you want to do is plug in the RCA cable to the adapter that you have, and then the adapter goes into the computer. At this point, you should be able to turn the VCR on and you should see something happen on the little player on your computer. It's basically using your computer as a TV screen, so just make sure you can see and hear something on the computer and then you know your tapes are working the way they should be. If you're having trouble getting the video or the sound to work, just double check the connectors on the cable. The yellow cable is for video and the red and white ones are for sound. So if you're having an audio issue, check the red and white cables. If the video is a little choppy, um, make sure that yellow cable is secure. Now keep in mind, these tapes are probably really old, so don't expect them to be full HD or anything like that. If you're seeing some haziness or stuttering that is perfectly normal, don't be alarmed. The key part is that you could see in here. Now, at this point, you've already gotten past the hard part. Uh, what you'll have to do is plug in a tape into the VCR and then make sure you rewind it uh, all the way to the beginning, uh, depending how long your tape is, that could take some time. Um, and then to record, there's a record button in the menu, and then you press the record option and you hit play on the VCR. At this point, you do have to watch through the whole tape, um, but once you do that, it's going to record as you watch it to the computer. Now, by default, as you're recording, you're not going to hear any sound. There is a setting to turn the sound on if you want to hear it while it's recording, um, but the intention behind this is that you hit play, let it record while you go do something else so you don't get distracted by the sound. And that's basically it. You'll have to wait a little while for the recording to finish. Um, I've had a tape that was six hours long, so I kind of broke it up into chunks. Um, but yeah, it's really easy. The longest part is just waiting for the tape to finish. It does take up quite a bit of storage on your computer, so be sure to have a lot of space available. Um, I'd recommend getting an external hard drive and just throwing them on there as you back them up. But that's basically it. If you have any questions or issues while doing this, please leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. I, I know it's a little intimidating for people who aren't very tech savvy, but I promise you it was really simple and I've been doing it for a week now and I've had no issues at all. So that's all I got for right now. I hope you guys found that video helpful. I will be making more videos like this in the future, so please press that big red subscribe button for me if you found this useful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.